2024 is going to be a revolutionary year for developing large language model based applications. With the integration of RAG, also known as Retrieval Augmented Generation, you're going to be able to utilize unified frameworks for developing LM based applications with more accuracy and with better performance. This is where I introduce LMware, a project that is a framework for developing LM based applications based off of patterns including Retrieval Augmented Generation. Now, this project provides an integrated set of tools that anyone can use from beginner to the most sophisticated AI developer to rapidly build industrial grade knowledge based enterprise large language model based applications with specific focus on making it easy to integrate open source small specified models and connecting enterprise knowledge safely and securely to LMs in private cloud. Just take a look at this example where the devs used LM where to basically create an LM based application that is able to parse and chunk multiple large PDFs for RAG at scale with this framework. And you can see that this is an example document of a PDF and he is basically combining and sparsing all of these different PDFs into one chunk. And we can see that he provides a code walkthrough as to how he does this. but afterwards we can see that it's been sparsed into one whole text document which is a chunk of all the pdfs focusing on the main highlights as well as parsing the main focuses of what he wants to retrieve out of the actual pdf now this is something that is quite amazing as you can easily use rag at scale for this particular case where you can easily draw the knowledge from all of your pdfs into one large chunk this is something that you can do with LMware and it's something that I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video as I put some spotlight on it. Now throughout today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you how you can install it, understand the capabilities of this framework and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration and so much more definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on LMware, which is an enterprise grade LM based development framework with tools and fine tuned models. It's something that is designed for developing LM based applications, particularly focusing on RAG. Now it offers a different range of integrated tools, but it's suitable for all ranges, whether you're a beginner or an advanced AI developer. The goal is to basically facilitate quick development of high quality knowledge based enterprise applications. It emphasizes on easy integrations of open source specialized models and ensuring a secure connection between the enterprise knowledge of large language models in private cloud. Now let's actually take a look at some of these key features. You're able to have the ability for retrieval, which is assemble and query knowledge base. This is a retrieval feature in this framework, which is able to boost up high performance documents, parsers that can swiftly ingest and process various document types, including PDFs, you have text files, PowerPoints, Word documents, Excel, HTML, and so many others. It can transcribe transcripts, which can include intuitive querying methods, such as semantic, you have text, hybrid retrieval, as well as seamless integration of metadata. This is an advanced ranking and filtering strategy that is able to enable efficient semantic search. And the framework is able to support web scrappers as well, such as Wikipedia integration, you have Yahoo Finance API integration for comprehensive data retrieval, and so much more. Another feature is the prompt, which is a simple unified abstraction across 50 plus models. This is where you can connect various sizes of models. You're able to play around with various prompts with different sources, post-processing, human in the loop, as well as audibility. 
You also have another feature of vector embedding, which is swappable embedding models and vector databases. You're able to introduce this new industry specific BERT model, which can support various out of the box open source sentence transformers. Lastly, we have the sparsing and text chunking feature, which is a scalable ingestion. This is the example we took a look at at the start of the video, where you're able to integrate high speed sparsers for multiple document types, and you're able to basically compile ranges of different documents into one scalable ingestion. And this is something that you can do with LMware fairly easily. And it's something that they have a tutorial on, which I recommend you take a look at as you can explore additional LMware capabilities and check out these YouTube videos, which showcase different ranges of capabilities of what you can do with LMware. In this case, you can use small LMs for reg, for contract analysis. You can invoice processing with LMware and just PDFs at scale, evaluate LMs and so much more. Definitely take a look at these videos as they're quite detailed and they go through the code uh, step by step and showcasing how you can actually develop the framework. Now there's a couple of prerequisites that you need to have fulfilled before we actually get into installing LMware. Now, first off, you're going to need to make sure that you have Git installed. This is an application that will help you clone this repository onto your desktop. You'll need to have Python as well as Visual Studio Code as your code editor. Now, once you have these three things fulfilled, you can move forward with the installation process. First things first, you want to go onto the repo page, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click on this green button, copy the link, open up your command prompt, paste the link there by typing in Git clone and then the link afterwards. Once that is done, you press enter, go into the LMware file. Then you wanna type in this command where you install the dependencies of LMware onto your computer. This is fairly easy to do so, and it doesn't require much time. Once that is done, you can easily start working with LMware with the coding prompts that they have already set. Now you can start coding with the presets that they have, and they have a detailed inscription as to how you can get started, which I'll leave uh, this link to in the description below. These are a couple of examples as to how you can get started with the coding prompts that are needed to work with LM where you can start embedding, you can use the code for parsing, prompts with sources, and so much more. These are useful tips as to how you can start using these different coding presets to start developing your LM based application. You can also use LMware without a code base. They have a detailed instruction as to how you can do that. You can also use open source models by integrating it into the public model folder where you can use different types of models for utilizing uh, LMware to create a, a different types of based applications. Now, this is another demo, which is basically demonstrating the practical use case of RAG in real world examples. It's through this framework of LMware, where it's focusing on complex document analysis and text extraction, especially relating to using different types of contracts with this LM based application. Now, it is also something that is emphasizing the compatibility with standard laptops and CPU setups, which is something that has the ability to run advanced different types of models like the 7 billion dragon model that is used in this video it's something that relies on gpu resources and it provides insights on how you can implement these advancements using this model now as we go into this video it showcases this analysis on the document as well as the text extraction app that they've created with the code walkthrough as well as a demonstration as to how it processes the information after Lastly, I want to highlight some of the future roadmap goals that they have in mind for this framework. Now, one great thing I want to talk about before we get to that is that they have an active, dedicated team, which has been working continuously to keep on upgrading this framework. It just shows that they are continuously working on elevating and innovating LM framework or not LM framework, but LMware to another reach where it can continuously help other people develop LM based applications. Now, in terms of their roadmap, they're going to try to make it easy to deploy fine tuned models, which is something that is really great to see. Having a private cloud, which can keep different ranges of documents, data pipelines and data stores, as well as models safe and secure. They're going to have model quantization, developing small specialized RAG optimized LMs between 1 billion to 7 billion, industry specific LMs, enterprise scalability, as well as the integration of SQL. This is a real world 
use case for LM based applications. And I definitely see this being something that I can possibly use for my e-commerce stores or my YouTube channel, for example. Now, this is something that I definitely recommend that you check out with all the links in the description below. Make sure you give them a like on Twitter as well as these guys have been developing a project for a long time and it just shows that they're dedicated to improving different types of creation tools for LM based applications. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. Lastly, make sure you follow us on the Patreon page so you can access our private Discord where you can get amazing features. So with that thought guys, make sure you guys subscribe like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the whatever uploads that i have but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas